welcome to your end of February general reading. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let's see, we're going to get started here in just a minute. I just wanted to say I am available to do private readings uh, next week and into the month of March. I just opened up my March schedule, so if you'd like to book a private reading and you weren't able to do one last week, I do have openings and I'd love to read for you. So, uh, just out of breath here for a second. Let me catch my breath. Whew. Um, so now you, know, you guys know what I do on my weekends. I read tarot. Actually, I read tarot six days a week. I don't read on Sundays. Uh, so the beginning of my work week starts on Monday. But I am doing some readings today. You are the last reading I'm doing, last but not least. Beautiful Cancer. This is a general reading. It's going to focus on your past, present, and future. The present being the moment that you view this reading. And this reading is for all Cancer suns, Cancer moons, Cancer risings, Cancers on the cusp, and those that have Venus in Cancer. Like me, I have my Venus in Cancer. So, let's see what general messages and energies are happening for Cancer. Cancer that have, ooh, we have the Seven of Cups. Some of you are lost in a fantasy. This is beautiful energy. This is Neptune and Pisces energy. Of course, we are in Pisces season. So, Cancer, uh, you being a water sign, I think you do pretty well uh, with Pisces season here, but um, there could be some confusion. Some of you have lots of options in love. Some of you are doing some creative brainstorming. And then others of you are feeling very imaginative right now very kind of in a little bit of a dream world. Um, fantasies and illusions. What is real? What is not real? You know, um, it's easy to get lost in that Neptunian energy, especially when you're a crab and you're able to go into the depths like that. You know, you're one of the most, if not the most intuitive sign. So Pisces rules the 12th house. Pisces, the 12th house is all about, uh, Really, the uh, I could go on and on about the 12th house because I have planets in the 12th house, like my Virgo moon is in the 12th house. But, um, you know, the 12th house is the house of the undoing. You know, it is about like the other, it's very otherworldly, you know. So, You may be drifting in, in and out of other worlds at this time or feeling like you're a little bit in another world, moving into and shifting out of other worlds. Messages for Cancer Spirit. What are the most important messages and energies that you have for the sign of Cancer? Now this reading will be continued over on my Patreon page for those of you who don't know, it's patreon.com slash the good, the bad, and the tarot. All right. We're going to start the reading off here. In your past, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Prince of Staves in reverse, clarified with the Five of Staves reversed. You have desire. In this deck, desire is the chariot. And the chariot does represent the sign of cancer. We have the three of staves. Going into your present, we have the seven of cups. In this instance, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but it came out while I was shuffling your cards. It is coming up reversed in your current situation. We have the three of coins in reverse. The Eight of Staves in reverse. The King of Staves upright, clarified with the Five of Cups. Going into the future, you have the Princess of Staves upright with the Four of Coins. The Queen of Coins in reverse, clarified with the Six of Coins. The Seven of Staves in reverse. And the Six of Cups are all coming up in your future. 
Um, I would definitely watch this if you have fire sign in your chart or if you're dealing with a fire sign, because I'm getting a lot of fire sign energy. But just watch if you have a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, okay? Or Venus and Cancer. Your outcome card is the Four of Arrows in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Princess of Cups in reverse. Okay? So, like I said, this reading will be continued over on Patreon. It's a general reading. You can take it like a bi-weekly or weekly reading, however you want to take it. Uh, I hope to see you over there, and I hope you guys all enjoy your weekends. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.